I've got a problem with controlling smart homes. It's way too complicated. Whether it's digging through menus and dedicated apps or trying to construct a command that Siri will understand, the whole experience just rarely feels intuitive. So here's my little contribution to help smart homes get better. For now I'm calling this app Point, because you can just point your iPhone at any HomeKit device and it'll show you the matching controls. All you do is point and click. Seriously. It's the same gesture you've used to turn on your TV a million times. If I walk around the room, you can see the little dots at the top there represent the lights around me. Hopefully you can tell just how responsive this is. Now if I want to add a new one, I just have to place my phone next to it, register the location, and then select the device. And there it is. But it gets even better. Because the app knows what device you are pointing at, it can give you exactly the controls you'd want. So I'm going to walk over to my bedroom, and next to my bed there are two color lamps. You can see that in addition to the power button and brightness slider, I also get a color wheel now. But these controls could be anything. For a thermostat, you may get temperature adjustments, or a video feed from your doorbell when you point it at your door. And for more advanced users, you could even assign scenes to things around you, like pointing at your bathtub to activate mood lighting. The world around you becomes its own interface. So, why isn't there an App Store link in the description for you to get in on this? Well, it all comes down to this little beacon right here. In order for this entire thing to work, you currently need one of these spiffy ultra wideband development kits. And while it looks complicated, it contains the same kind of hardware that's also in a $30 AirTag you can buy anywhere. For that matter, HomePods also have these chips, but Apple doesn't allow third parties to interact with them, so I'm out of luck. And manufacturing hardware is really tricky. Just ask any of the countless Kickstarter campaigns that never ended up shipping anything. So I don't think it's wise for me to go that route. Instead, I'm making this video. This is me reaching out to any hardware company that sees the potential of this technology. I could see that working in a few ways. One would be some lovely people making generic ultra-wideband beacons. In that scenario, I could provide the software and point people to supported devices they can buy. Another path I can see would be via a smart home company like Signify or Amazon. They obviously have the manufacturing and distribution capabilities, and I definitely would be game to help develop the software for them. The last and most seamless way this could work out would be Apple taking it on directly. Between HomePods and AirTags, they already have all of the necessary hardware in stores today. And their control at a system level would allow even quicker interactions. Just imagine pulling down the quick settings and being shown controls for the device you're pointing at. That'd be pretty neat. If you like this idea and want to help me get this into your hands, just share this video. With a little bit of luck, somebody who can help might just see it. For now, have a beautiful day.